a sunny Toronto afternoon. Do my eyes look swollen? I feel like I a little bit of a wakey. Bro, wake. you look so high right now, bro. <sighs> well, that's because I a little bit of smoke something. You know what? When I came in your elevator, there was like... You came in my elevator? <laughs> when I came into your elevator... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> When I walked into your elevator, it was, like, crowded, right? Yeah. But it's crowded. Tell me why, if I'm allowed to be offended at this. I walk in, and then a lady just looks at me and puts on her mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this far? Uh, this it's far crowded. Into it was already crowded. 2024, and they put a mask right in front of you? Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's... But it was, cr- it was like, one too many? Like, I, I pressed the mm-hmm. threshold? And she had a dog in a wheelchair, like a old one who's like about to die. Like yeah, I would be, I would be upset about that. Um, like, yeah. No, my elevator has been so funky recently. Funky yeah, people yeah. in and out. Yeah. No, I think I have one. I think one's broken right now. And um, and because I I went I, yesterday, I was my mom was visiting this weekend, and I went to go um, take out Rudy while Mandy and my mom were um, cooking up dinner. And I kid you not, usually takes like. Cause this is at night. Usually takes like five minutes to take out Rudy. Mm. It took me like forty five minutes. You could probably <laughs> go stairs even. I could. I could have went stairs. I just didn't know the elevator was broken. Cause I got down okay, but coming up, I was hitting every single floor. Mm. I don't know what was going. I don't know why people are going up. I think people just want to get in the elevator. It's only six floors even. Yeah, I got dropped off at my up my floor, and there was like five people waiting. I walked out. It was like red carpet. Like everyone staring at me. I can't believe it. He he actually used the elevator. Oh my god! And they're all putting on their masks. Yeah. Oh yes. No, that's for you, man. That's when you exit the elevator. Is there, can you guys hear the? Um, they can definitely hear it. And I apologize. Um, you know what? I learned from your, your comments last episode, guys. I'm not going to be using the spray bottle anymore. <laughs> I'm actually just going to let my cats do whatever they want because they deserve to have a fun, fulfilling life. That's what I wish you would say. <laughs> That's what I wish you would say. Um, no, that's actually the first time I did bust out the spray bottle in like a very long time. I haven't used it on 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 fish since since he was a kitten. You know, they can they can build a sort of like file on you every time. There's a that's okay. There's gonna be a that's montage. okay. Call CPS on me, cat. Who someone protective got in services. Trouble. There was a YouTuber who like spit on their Shane dog's Dawson face. got in trouble. That was real abuse. Oh, oh nice fight on my toes. All right, Carl. He's never done that. You no, know. I'm telling you, he's in this weird phase where he's actually, like, pushing the boundaries. Come here. He was so great when we first got him, and now he's turning a little evil, so we have to put him in his place a little bit. Got you. Now you're trapped. And there was a... I almost tried to suck out of my mic because I thought it was my coffee. <laughs> um, here, the, man. No. I, I'll give you your coffee. Here I you did go. like this, bro. <laughs> Martin, I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what I wonder what that would have sounded like. <laughs> Some ASMR, deep ASMR, coffee I'm inhaling slurping. ASMR. I'm inhaling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I'm thinking about if we should like mark that so I could trim it out. Maybe actually, actually, it would be good. What are we at? What minute? Just just in case, because it might be uncomfortable for some for people. Some people. Yeah, <laughs> for some people's ears. <laughs> Some uh, people have like hypersensitivity to like sounds like that. I keep thinking it's a metaphobia. There is a name for it: misophonia or something. Metaphobia is scared of metaphors. It's in it's misinfomnia. Misin- Something like scared that. Scared of misinformation. No, I think I already mentioned it on the podcast, man. Repeat, repeat. It starts with the E. In metaphobia. I just said that one. You said metaphobia. This is how I know you don't listen to me. Hamza, you actually don't listen to me. You wait till I finish talking. No, that's not true. I really try. It's offensive, man. I Fear wish I wish of silly disgusting noises. Misophonia. I knew it. Pulled that one out. Oh, from no the way. Gutter. Read this one out loud. Read before it disappears. Sindonglobophobia. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Scared of freaking schlongs? Sindonglophobia. <laughs> wait, look this up. S I D O N G L O B O. Oh, wait. Hold up. I think I have this. Fear of cotton balls? Sindonglophobia. Wait, they actually make me so uncomfortable. I'm not even joking. When oh, people like it. play I with them, it it's like well. really weird hey, wiring. How about he pulls it back? Mm. He's it's so cute him playing, but we're we actually have a big production here. That's actually true. Do you want me to actually take care of this? Or uh, I don't know what that means. You know, last time I no no no. I'm gonna whoa. just no no. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the ball out of it, and there's nothing to. Oh, that's so sad. But then I'm he's just gonna hit it around. No, I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide it. Oh man. Uh, okay, just don't hit him, please. Please, Martin. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, Martin. No, their legs don't go that way. Dude. That'll teach him. That will teach him oh. not to mess with me. Wow. Leave a comment down below if that was how I should treat my cat. Look, he's even licking the spray bottle. He doesn't even care. That's okay. Miss Sing Dong Langarphobia. Now I'm curious about silly phobias. I have Sing Dong Low Phobia, a f deep fear and dread of cotton balls. I've always disliked the feel. Okay. Oh. When I tell people I have a fear. Oh, well, don't tell people. Don't just walk around telling people. That's that's when I'm like, okay, you're weird, man. If you come up to me and say I have Sing Dong Low Phobia. <laughs> You're like, I'm running away. Dongs at, bro? I'm scared? running away. <laughs> Here's another one. Aruki Batrupia. <laughs> You're making this I up, man. I swear to God. I swear to God. Araki Batrupiophobia. Fear of peanut butter sticking into the roof of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is made up. These are just like, this is like buzz. These are Republicans or something trying to create like. No. This would probably definitely be the liberals up to this. They like to make up diseases and stuff like that. Really? No, I'm saying this is like rage bait because I'm getting baited right now and oh. raging. Who has a fear of peanut butter to the roof of their mouth? That's not a... You don't have a fear. It's just uncomfortable. You don't feel a little anxious and that happens if it'll no, stick there for the rest of No, I'm not scared. I'm just like, hey, what? There's no way people are scared of it staying for the rest of their life. I uh, I sometimes do that. If you have that, when then you must younger. be riddled with like hundreds of others because of... Nomophobia. Oh, this is probably the most common fear one. Fear of no. Being said Told no. No. Fear of being without your mobile phone. Oh, I have that one. I have that one. I sometimes Gen Z tings. I just got a no <laughs> I just got a notification for uh my I hate the the usage, the screen time. Uh -huh. It was like it's been up 44% in the past week. I'm like 44% from what? And it was like from like 8 hours up 44 or something oh wait in a week like per day the average oh don't Web check don't check don't it, check it'll ruin, it'll i'm scared i know that's it's a, a lot phobia that's called jing bong dong phobia <laughs> <laughs> being afraid of looking at your screen <laughs> so stupid arithmophobia math yeah i'm scared of numbers oh my god that's a lot of you out there oh uh, this one i know a few people with this one Pluto phobia. It's not scared of Pluto. It's fear of money. Some people are just scared of motion. Like they're just allergic. Wait, to is that money. why Future calls himself Pluto? Does he? Baby Pluto or something? He's not afraid of making money though. He he actually he has is a lot afraid because there's so much and he has to, and it's like he it's, it's like claustrophobia because oh. there's so much money caving now in on him. Now we're putting two in one. There's your diagnosis, Future. What's Future's real? Where name? is Future at? I've heard Future's of him. Future's real name. No, don't look it up. Don't look it up. <gasps> Nevadius de Moon Wilburn. Nevadius? Nevadius phobia. Oh my I'm god. Nevadius, man. Xanthophobia. Scared of the color Fearful yellow. Xan. Nope. The color yellow. Ablutophobia. Oh, you got this one. Are you looking at a top 10 list? Yeah. Like most common? No, top oh. strange. Oh, strangest. Okay. You definitely have that one, a blutophobia, that because that's scared of bathing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> octophobia, fear of the number eight. Well, I need to read it. Oh this one. wow, that's insane! No, they're making stuff. Octophobia up. Octophobia is a fear of the number eight. Interestingly, there are a few other known phobias to specific numbers, except for the fear of numbers itself. Arithmophobia, we learned about that one earlier. The fear of the number thirteen, triskaidekaphobia. People, okay, nice. Oh my God. People with octophobia fear the symbol eight as it appears written down, such as in ad addresses or advertisements. They can also feel object, they can also fear objects presenting in groups of eight. Wait, so if I'm looking at this timer right here and it's saying 10 minutes and three seconds, if it gets to eight, what do they do? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Optophobia, fear of opening one's eyes. Oh, yeah, I deal with that on a daily basis. I just want to stay asleep. Hey. I just need sleep and pizza. Get out hey. of the plant. Carl. See, no water needed. <laughs> Globophobia, fear of balloons. <gasps> this is the craziest one of all. What? Hippopotomonstrosis quiptolopophobia, fear of long words. 
Come on, you dude, troll. Dude, this is straight this from... This is baiting us. This is straight from BuzzFeed, man. BuzzFeed? No, I'm on... BuzzFeed would write something like that. Like, no. isn't this crazy, guys? The longest word ever, and it's a fear for long words. <laughs> Top 10 most scary facts in the medical field. The rec- It's from the recoveryvillage.com. I actually trust this. Well, I hope there's a TLC show out there or something. Is there one about phobias? <sighs> Addictions. I know there was one where people were eating Tide Pods and stuff like that. It's My Strange Addiction. Yeah, yeah, that one. There was a guy just down in pods? Yeah, that's where it all started, I'm pretty sure. From him. Guy from my school used to do but that. But well. they got to make a show about the phobias because I'm I'm curious. I'm like, who who... What would that person look like? Someone who's scared of the letter eight. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, wouldn't it be not the l- number nine? Did I say letter eight? Oh, God. <laughs> because seven was Did afraid it, of eight, so they ate it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they, and then after the crumbs. There's a, no, there's a, the there's <laughs> a joke in there somewhere about someone eat, like serving and eating something like that. Eating the number seven. I'm not I'm scared of eight because there were crumbs on my plate. Hey, hey that's a good one. Ephophobia, ephophobia, fear of adolescence, real. I'd be sometimes scared of an adolescent. <laughs> I think it's the concept <coughs> of adolescence. Wait, the is concept? wait is adolescence um <laughs> like teens. adulting, like adulting? No teens. Oh, You're scared uh, of oh teens. teens. Oh, I'm scared of teens. Don't bring them near me. I am scared of teens. You ever just walk past a group of teenagers? No, Martin, where would you hang? Dude, I get scared walking past a group of teenagers because I feel like, and like I always prep myself because I'm scared like if they trap me in a conversation, I want to, I recite every single meme, new meme, because I know that they're going to. But you're already late. You think you know what the new ones are, but they're already on new stuff. Really? One of my most scary memories, I was walking around a mall in Calgary and then just just a group of like young teens, like not, I'm talking like 14s. They just like stop and look at me and they go, you're kind of hot. And I just was frozen. <laughs> no, it wasn't kind of. It was you're hot. And I stood there. And I, I don't know what to do. I was like. You keep walking. You're hot. Oh, you I can't. Got- you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of hot too. Ah. No, you just keep walking. And Take that. That, and that was pre TikTok. That was converted like, into a little burst in your step. That's all it needs to be. Is just a little. I bit was not inspired by that because, because of how it went down after. What? What happened after? Or because I, I stood there. Oh, you mean? froze. Okay, I thought. Um, I got no, all their numbers. no. Look, I try to be as hip as I possibly can because I know my time, my clock is ticking. I'm getting older by the second. You know, I'm I'm edging into scary territory where I'm kind of losing. My brain is underdeveloped. In the sense of being in the pop culture, in pop culture, you're supposed to be ready for it. I'm trying, I'm studying, I study every day. I want to be, I want to make sure I'm ready. You saw my screen time go up 44%. Remember that 14 year old I was talking to? What, like, like when I was talking about all the memes and stuff with him, huh? Oh, mm. what 14 year old context is required for the situation? Oh, the little boy, yeah, the little boy. Oh, yeah. The mutual friend of a friend. I have a video of it. <laughs> they a, won't be able to hear it, though. Yeah, they can. I have a video of Martin talking to a child, and it's not a, it's not a bit at all. It looks like <laughs> one of Martin's characters on, on my soul. It looks like one of Martin's characters because he's just telling the kid, like, not to ever smoke weed or something. Well, I'm looking out for him because <laughs> I'm trying to put myself, like, in his shoes. You're like, like you ever tried it? Yeah, I tried it when I was your age. It was overrated. Yeah, and, and then to my surprise, he's like, boy, I did this when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> he low-key was freaked out, I'm not going to lie. The video is one of my You favorites. can try to play it. I don't think it'll sound. I'm not going to play it. Where do we put it? Where do we redirect them to to see it? Where mm-hmm. do you want this? Do you just post it on um, Story or something? On the Out of Character Story? Yeah, maybe okay, you do that. It'll be on the Out of Character Instagram Story then. Mm-hmm. But <coughs> I wish we could provide context, but um, it'll be it, yeah. You're so unnatural with the children, and and I think that's good. You don't want to be like a conversationalist with a child. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad, but I'll trust your perspective. I didn't think it was You've that seen bad. The video, Mar, and you I've seen the video, Martin. I've seen the video. It's pretty bad. You need a refresher. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it because it was so funny. Because you were trying so hard to be cool, and it, I get it. 
but I've never seen you do that with anyone else except this child. You're like, oh, yeah, you're like flicking up your collar or something. I'm like, what the hell? There's nothing more <laughs> that I seek than just the validation of like a 14 year old because it's like they're the coolest people ever. And sure. it's because I wasn't cool when I was 14. So I really just really want to fill that part. And, you know, I no, wasn't cool. I, I just wholesome. I think that's yeah. good. I'm sorry about that. I mean, that's bring okay. Back those times of your life. Ergophobia. Some a lot of immigrants have this. What is it? I don't even want to. S there's such a s this fear of work. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. If anything, they have the complete opposite. Boy, they be putting in work. Well, I just been watching like a lot of news right now, and I'm like, I'm not actually like I. I just consume like Republican stuff because it's more entertaining. Like it's just. It's true. That's actually really it's true. Entertainment. There's a new one that's so funny. With their full chest, like this Republican, like I don't know, some news clip was like. You, the guy on the news was like, you guys are so stupid. The PSYOP is this, <laughs> that they use the word PSYOP on like an actual like news channel. The PSYOP is this. Taylor Swift, the, the Super Bowl is going to go to the Super Bowl championship. T then the Chiefs are going to win. Then Travis Kelsey is going to propose to her on stage and they're going to get married. And in their moment of marriage, she's going to turn to the camera and tell everyone to vote for Joe Biden. I am not joking. And you know what Real. you want to know how I know you're not joking is because I literally heard this with my own ears when I was over at your place. When? Oh, I played it. You played someone discussing that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that look, I the creativity is freaking amazing coming from that side. Y'all are creative. Imagination. The imagination is just fantastic. Like it's it is truly like it it I honestly a round of applause because that's like I wish I had that sort of creativity and imagination to connect those dots. Because that's probably going to happen. People need that more these days. The kind of the groundhogification of things, the, the nonsensical parallels that people draw in these. Th I think it's fun. You know, I don't you, think they're far off, though. I think that's going to happen. Like, I don't want to watch some liberal stuff where I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, true. Uh, you're right. Yeah, the world's going to bend. I want to I want to go somewhere where someone's got papers pinned to a, a, a board and like red lines yes. circle red this circles here, yes i want i want that i missed that a little bit i i had a lot of that as a child conspiracy theories were kind of fun and oh stuff. i could see that it's just conspiracy it theories throughout you. your yeah you yeah older. oh my god i Oof. could definitely see that down the line yeah you, you get a little senile you get up some more create an account time. on qanon forums qanon qanon as some people may say um dapnophobia Fear of dining with others. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. How would that even come to be? Just in general eating with someone? Or is it just watching them chew and, and stuff? I think it might be the... Actually, I could read into it. I don't know. We don't have to make anything up. Is a fear of dining with others. This often manifests as a fear of dinner parties and may stem from a fear of dinner conversations or having to carry out a conversation mm -hmm. while eating. It may be related to an underlying social phobia. In many cases, daphonobia is triggered by traumatic in events in the individual's past, such as being ridiculed as a child by the way they ate or not following proper etiquette. This is real, man. Hmm. Man. So this is another one where essentially you have a fear of dining with someone because you are you have a fear of them leaving some crumbs on their plate. And then someone comes in with octophobia and... Well, and, and, and well, then, chaos he, ensues. He, he says, "Leave the leave the crumbs because you can't be, you can't eat it." <laughs> Brain <laughs> rot. <laughs> he comes in and says, "Nobody ate those crumbs." <laughs> oh, I said it. <laughs> <clears throat> he comes in like half ah, his food is eaten. <laughs> Who ate my food? Oh, <laughs> you ate. Oh. <laughs> he comes in and. And ice spices there, and and, oh. she, <laughs> and she's shaking ass and deli, and she I, ate. And oh <laughs> man, <laughs> you can only like consume like bad media, nothing that where people ate. And then of course, phobophobia, fear of phobias. <laughs> wow, they just had to toss that. I bet that's the last one. Just well, for that's kind of the most realistic thing. I feel like you might have that. You're like scared of being, being scared, scared of something. or something. Oh, really? I'm not. Well, that's just anxiety in general, I think. I really like arachibutyrophobia. I mean, I'm not trying to troll with these pronunciations. Try try Martin so they don't... Arachibutyrophobia. Oh, wow. It was a lot better. Yeah. That's the fear of the peanut butter sticking on the roof of your mouth. 
The severity of this varies from person to person. Some with condition may eat a small amount of peanut butter, but others will completely avoid peanut butter. I mean, yeah, just avoid yeah, it. Yeah, just avoid it. Like, what are, are you, you doing? Are you playing with the devil, man? I know you got that. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm thinking, isn't there other stuff that could, like, stick to the roof of your mouth that would <coughs> emulate it a little bit? Like a turkey sandwich? Yeah, something like that. Like with the mayo and the mustard? Oh, mm. I miss those. <sighs> just like a couple pieces of white toast and just a solid turkey. Like Wonder Bread white toast? Mm-hmm. Mm, like just turkey like the all-american style kids going to school this yeah. is their lunch oh, you didn't have that here huh i didn't have that um You're my like closest thing chicken. no mine was sour cream oh and i know that stuck sour sour that, that stuck, stuck to the r- bro, fact. <laughs> sour cream sandwiches what are you struggling for it was man? sour cream sandwiches with with slices of cheese string what was the kendrick lamar beat song sour cream sandwiches and allowances that's the thing. We weren't poor. My dad was just like, he just packed my lunch and he was just like hella lazy. <laughs> That's when I realized that my dad, like Loki, was just like evil. No, he just didn't care. And he was like, whatever, like I would eat this. It's food. Come on. Who cares? Yeah. And the malnutrition has led to your. Yeah. To you know. My mom would have probably tossed in some, you know, some vegetables in there. What vegetables would you add to a sour cream sandwich? Lettuce. Cucumber. Cucumber? Cucumber. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That's actually, that's passable. Che- the cheese string, though, that was fantastic. O- right. Honestly, whoever created cheese string, they ate. They ate. Whoa. <laughs> no, I think it was, uh... yeah, oh, yeah, that one's great. But you don't you, you don't come across a cheese string. No, you don't. And and I, I just want to put that out there. I was that person that would look at the wrapper of a cheese string, and obviously I'd make the animal that was on there. What? Oh, we didn't have those in the U.S. What? You guys didn't have the little patterns on there to, like, create stuff from your cheese string? Like the little donkey or, like, I don't know, giraffe maybe or something? It, maybe it was me. I don't want to speak for all of America here, but I didn't I didn't get those. Oh, what? How many animals could you do? Like how, as many giraffe. as your imagination could think of. I think a giraffe you can do because it's just dude and then the legs is four and the top is a long neck. What are you well, gonna- one time I was struggling so hard because they gave me like a lionfish or something with like all these no things sticking way. out of it. I swear. So you had to peel a lot. And I was so like fixated on making sure that it looked like the picture that I actually peeled a couple of pieces off. And we were using hot glue guns at school. And I actually hot glue gun. I swear I did this. And I hot glue gun pieces together to make it look like a lionfish. And then I went around showing people. I was like, look, look, look. And they're like shocked and horrified. They're like, what? They can see the hot glue on it. Yeah, they could see the hot glue on it. They're like, dude, just why don't you just eat it? Like, it's just cheese, man. You invented a new phobia that day for some people who saw that. Yeah, glue fear of cheese. Hot, hot glue gun mixed with cheese. Hot glue gun cheese of phobia. But that's the thing. That's not what the phobia would be called. It would be called like arabogaraga phobia. Yeah, like some none crazy. of these have anything to do with the actual thing. Well, they use their like Latin words. I don't even. I'm, uh, I'm not done with this. I don't know if you're bored at uh, these names. No, this I'm is like, um, it feels like I'm five again looking through like an encyclopedia. Oh, did you, you know what I used to do? Oh, wow. Damn, you were bored. <laughs> yeah, I used to like read those like fun encyclopedias and just like, dude, I knew, I knew so many facts before the age of like 10. It was actually insane. Like the whole like um, sedimentary metamorphosis, all that crap, like all the types of rocks, igneous and all that. Igneous, I know. Yeah, no, but like even like way before we even touched on that topic in school, like I just knew it because I was just so interested. In in just life. Yeah. You had such a lust for life that has diminished. It has diminished. That little light of mine is gone and I want to bring it back. Maybe I'll pick up like a Guinness World Records or something just spark that in me a little bit. Yesterday I pulled out a pen and paper and we're just going to draw. (laughs) <laughs> it was rough but it was like fun like i had something i was watching something and i, I had some you know i was like okay i'm a draw like, i've never heard this wait so are you are I'm a drawer. did you used to like draw oh, yeah stuff? yeah i'm a really good drawer oh i like that dude okay well i was in indigo um with my mom and, and mandy and i found this book and yeah maybe i'll get you it it's like a it's like a it's a book where they just give you like a prompt and they give you like space to just draw it oh that's fun I yeah like yeah that. That's a good, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm a draw. I don't want to color though. Don't give me no color. No, it's just like sketching. It's how you want to do it, dude. Indigo is crazy, man. They got crazy. They don't have indigo, man. They have Barnes and Nobles. Barnes? Who the hell is Barn and who's Noble? That's all I know as well as Barnes and Nobles. Wow, you guys got to get an indigo, Noble. man. Indigo has it's more than probably just the same parent company, my boy. You know, indigo has more than just books, though, right? I'm aware. And they have a Barnes bar now. They sell vibrators. 
What? They sell sex toys, dude, because some books are really steamy, and so you want to read and maybe massage the little thing down there. Do they have anything for the boys? For the boys, they got... <laughs> they probably do. They probably have some kind of, like, ring that you put on your thing, and then just, like, as you read... Ring? It's just something to do while you read. I know that that's like, there's like dark romances and stuff and, you know. You couldn't have done like a fidget spinner or something? I don't know. All I know is my mom has a book that's in that genre and that she told me I should never re read it. We have to get a hold of that eventually. I remember uh, Mandy, to. Mandy's going to read it. Mandy's going to read it. But my mom said like, under any circumstances, I'm not allowed to read it. What is it? Dark romance? Is that she said it's, it's such a dark romance that like, she's scared that it'll get taken off Amazon. Because she, and she's like she has a whole list of like trigger warnings that she put, but she's still scared that people are gonna mass report it and take it down and, sh and stuff. So, but we'll see. I guess. Is he playing with something? No, that's the litter robot. Oh, that, the that's the litter robot, robot that you got me, dude. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome, bro. You brought it out here finally. Yeah, Mandy didn't like it in the room. And I was on that wave in the beginning. It's just because it smelled a little bit like litter next to your bed. Just a little. It actually does a pretty good job of mitigating well, it this. Better, smell. it's twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a lot. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I was gonna draw, and that was me reverting to my. Ch I was a good drawer, but it didn't matter though. You know what inspired me? We recorded a Minecraft video last night or yesterday, and the way I was building was just like how I would build as a child. Like, I'm gonna put stairs, and I'm gonna put a little ladder into a little hideout. You know, I'm not going to have an auto sorting system that you put the, everything in. Yes, dude. I've been waiting times. for you to say this. Screw the redstone and stuff. Maybe later, but. Okay, it's still there. Though. Later. No, but you don't need that. You but focus like red, on like. But the, I'm going to do like redstone like doors opening. Instead of redstoning a freaking pumpkin farm, I'll, I'll redstone. I don't know. I miss the days when, when redstone wasn't a thing and you could just kind of. You're intimidated by I'm it. I'm intimidated by it, yes, but. You know what the the beauty of of Minecraft was always there in the, in the building and the mining and exploring and fighting in the imagination. The redstone was for freaking nerds who couldn't who it's actual nerds jocks went to fight. You right? were reading the encyclopedia. Cheerleaders. I don't hear it. What did the cheerleaders do? They went and danced with the animals in the game? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about everyone has a role. Oh. The cheerleaders, if a cheerleader played Minecraft, she would probably just like get a bunch of cats and like dogs because they, yeah, they yeah, love yeah. little animals. So taming would be her thing. Taming. Um, Maybe the emo people, they would go to the end with all the ender dragons or yeah. endermen. Yeah, where it's kind of like lonely and, and stuff. Probably in the nether also and some of those biomes, they're mm -hmm. kind of emo-ish. But... I was never bored enough to open an encyclopedia. My my thing was uh, mythical creatures. It was it was my thing. You could ask me anything about a chupacabra. I'll. I'll I freaking love that there was dude. This book from the Scholastic. You know the them folks over there really know what yeah. they're doing. And it was just I loved the book because it fully presented itself as real. So it was just real. There was no. It, there was no like the artwork was so good. That you thought it was like a real animal. Yeah, like they would have yeah. one once one page was like the the animal or the chupacabra or the yeti or or like the dragon. And the second page was like, you know, diagrams in comparison to a human. So it's so real. It's like, oh, I yeah. had a human next to the freaking yeti and the yeti is really big. So noted. If I see a yeti, I'm, I have to run. Yeah. Um, location on earth. Okay, chupacabra, Mexico. I okay, can't go to Mexico anymore because of chupacabra. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like description, how to take one out. And I'm like, okay. If I see a Cyclops, I have to go for the eye. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There was a point. I think it was like last year. Mandy asked me. She's like, hey, like, I really want to go to like and see like, you know, Ireland and Scotland and stuff. And I almost blurted out. I said, Scotland. Okay. So we can see like Loch Ness. Oh, Thinking no. that it was like for some reason, I like imagined that like Loch Ness was like a real monster that you could go see and like sightsee. Because what the hell else is there to do in Scotland? Now has evidence, I swear. I Dude, I know. I've seen something i don't remember what and all the and and you know when you see pictures of scotland and whatever that lake is i guess it's isn't it called like loch ness or whatever i don't even know loch ness lake i'm pretty sure i don't know something but the fog just like sits above the water it's all murky misty like if you see a boat it's just like the shadow of the boat you can't even like see it you know what i mean it's like right. mysterious out there so yes it exists i know it does and i and it's not a it's not preposterous no i don't think so the water is vast 
It's, it's just like space. It goes on forever. Mm-hmm. What's right. the other stuff? Atlantis and stuff. That stuff <coughs> exists. I can tell you that right now. I'm Come gonna on. find that book real quick. But um, mythical creatures, scholastic. Hey, why is he barking? I don't know. Oh my god! This is a freaking this might chupacabra be, right next to my me. mind. You found it. You found the book. Is that the one? That's, That's the, the one. series. Mythical monsters. I remember this one. Do you? Wait. Yes, these were the pages. Oh my god! Oh, they weren't as real as we thought they were when we were kids, though. Uh, Minotaur. You look at this. Look at this page. It's got the Minotaur. It's got the it's stats, man. It's, it's got, got like how many arms it. they have. How but many? Its arms. lore is, was amazing. Um, the Oni. This is from Japan. This Blue was the book. This was the book. <laughs> I gotta order this or something, dude. There that's what I'm saying. Is like I might just revisit my childhood and just order <gasps> those books. Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh my god, dude. We're gonna put this on screen. I'm gonna try. That one tripped me out a little bit because I'm like, okay, that's like the most unrealistic one. It did give me like a little little boy boner though. I was like, what's going on here? The Sphinx. What? But this one is interesting because its its depiction was very different from um, kind of pop culture depiction. It was all like real. It was all it was all there. Well, look, I'm saying we this in 2024. Everyone, whatever you liked in your childhood, go get yourself a copy. If it's a book, go get, yeah. you know go explore that because it's it's important. Who cares? No one's gonna judge you for reading. I don't know the Percy Jackson series again. You gotta tell. You don't have to tell anyone yeah. either. Just no. do it yourself. It's it's, it's the year of regression here. It's wow movie. dude i'm sorry you gotta stop doing that man this is a professional podcast we dude, you do it on slushy noobs too i haven't eaten anything in the morning it's a coffee burp is it, it nice? sounds like it's a mix Americano. of acid reflux and <clears throat> just everything like it sounds like your body's rejecting whatever you've consumed. i saw some stupid ass tiktok saying and I, and i had someone like this growing up and he pissed me off he was saying burps are nastier than farts they low-key are, dude. Don't tell me that right now. They are, man, because burps, why? I just feel like you I'm, can... I'm willing to listen, so tell me why. Okay. Burps are so much less serious, so why are you making them so loud and, okay, and if known? Okay, you're belching, yeah, you're an ass. Well, what was that called? You heard me restricted. I tried to hold it back, but then it was like... <laughs> Farts, it's like, oops, like, I, I really, need, like, you could tell, this is a I serious really thing. To. If you don't fart, like, that's serious. Like, you need to fart. That It's, it's methane. medical. Yeah. It's healthy to fart on average 14 times a day. And I would always argue with my mom that she needed to fart more because I never heard her fart. I've never heard Mandy fart, and I'm so scared. What? I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to catch her at certain moments. Like, I'm trying to do something where maybe I, like, I come around the corner, scare her so that I can force one out no. to see. But... I still haven't caught one and, and it's really upsetting me because I feel like I just need that. We've ticked everything in a relationship that you need to, to for a secure relationship. Mm. That's the last one is just hear her fart. That's probably why she's so uptight. She's holding all those. She's holding them in. And she only poops, I think, like every three days. I'm trying to I'm trying to see like what's wow. going on. Well, I also see burps in a little bit of that manner. I mean, you don't have to be burp. You don't have a quota. You have to hit a day. But the pitch on the TikTok was if I catch a whiff of a burp then that's so much fouler than a fart it is fair enough i'm not burping smellers you've seen me go hit the uh, I've, I've seen that i yeah, borrowed that from you yeah. um oh well I'll, I'll quiz you right now like this if i'm throw up burping yeah I'll, i'm getting i'm moving i'm moving rooms <laughs> this is a this is an important question right now all right just to see what type of person you are do you think puking is grosser than shitting what? I see them as very in different categories. Shitting is a daily natural thing. Puking is a puking. I don't see as gross or not because you're not. Pu- it's simple. Just answer the question. Well, puking is grosser, of course. There you go. Burping. But if is you're in puking, you're sick. You're out of control. If something happened, you just ran a little. You ran a two mile run on the cross country club. I'll never forget grade. the time that Mandy saw me puke for the first time. I felt like a little boy, so vulnerable. <laughs> now we would go back to our first phobia we brought up, emetophobia. Do you think talking about it would trigger some people? I just don't get too descriptive. 
the chunks. It of was vegetable green. Soup. <laughs> no, I threw up very recently for a video you guys are gonna see. I wish. We oh filmed it. my god, I forgot about that. I'm so excited for that to come out. My goodness, it's a video. I mean, the the throwing up isn't on it. <laughs> it's a video. It's a video. It's definitely a video. You'll, it should be out. It's Thursday. We, we doing dates now? We doing? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I don't see why not. I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, why don't we do Mondays and Thursdays home? No, <laughs> don't do that. Because then it's even more of a disappointment when things go awry. Well, we're not going to tell you, but oh. maybe you can catch on. Just so we have some structure over here, man. True. Do you um, think that? Do you think that's bad for people to watch us and and? Because I feel like it's known out there that like we don't really have structure. We try our best though. Like we what? We pump out what? stuff. What? I have structure in life. I don't think so, man. I think two podcasts, a big channel. TikTok, no, we have flies. stuff. We have stuff, but it doesn't come out like. No, podcast is still probably the only consistent thing. It's very consistent. Videos, pods are once a week. Patreon also solos if you want to go. That's there, true. Is once a week. We're three or every three or four days. On but yeah, that's how we compensate is just pump out as much so that there's always something. So let's say something but does go missing. If we want to though, like. That's true. If no one forcing if we us. Can't, if we can't and we don't, then we don't. We're still have we're still having fun, but we're trying to preemptively. At least I am. I'm sure you are too. Preemptively safeguard against burnout, which mm, means, mm. which a lot of the time means getting help from others and paying them for that help, costly help. Yeah, we preventing. try doing everything ourselves, but we're entering our what's it called? DMG. Oh, don't say that. Oh, my okay. that soulless operation. I'm talking to you, tiny freaking meat gang. I can't believe you guys kept that name. <laughs> no, Hamza said the funniest thing to me. He said, do you think whenever TMG has to sign official, like, contracts and stuff, they have to, like, actually, like, explain, like, tiny meat gang. Because like. it's not TMG on the documents. It's tiny meat gang. And, like, well, it's a, it's a little bit of a joke that we have small penises. But anyway. Because when was it for him? 2016-ish, I maybe? Oh no! So that sounds that's right. like that was that humor back then. Is like you know, was it self-deprecating? Like I have a small penis and stuff like that. Small penis was came out in dude twenty twenty four. You say I have a big penis as a joke. Just don't talk about penises, man. I have penisophobia. <laughs> no, twenty twenty four is saying I don't have a penis. Oh, mm, new. We've binary. reached we've reached new heights. And instead of that, instead of a penis, I have a little hand down there that grabs stuff for me. <laughs> Oh, well, that would be useful. Oh my god, that would be nice. Um, like, like just, just spreading right now on the couch, and and if I wanted to pass you the coffee, it'd go like this. Oh yeah, and if I see you, we just dab each other up with our crotches. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the mythical creature Freaking list. <laughs> <laughs> the hand in the wiener. Area. Male podcaster creature. <laughs> Oh, dude, yeah, that's a good. That would be or like that would be a creature with a freaking huge. We mouth. We should drop a book with our own creatures, dude. <gasps> Oh, Ooh, why are your hands so sweaty? Because it's hot in here. What creature is that? <laughs> <laughs> Slimy. One of the one of the effects. He sits for an hour and gets a little bit sweaty in all his corners. Yeah, podcast sweats hit you the hardest, man. Especially when it's already hot as a hoe in here. I turned it out because Mandy's feeling under the weather, and you know how cold it is when you when you have a cold, man. Oh my god. No, I, I'm I'm willing to Shivering. push through this. Um, our other creatures would be like influencer, TikToker. Um, U UGC creator. Oh, that's a scary one. User, user Wait, generator. is UGC creators the ones that um go around Toronto and then they essentially only exist to do like user generated content for brands? So they're like their whole. If a UGC creator is someone who like goes to brands and they're like, basically my whole account is just like plugging an, things, an ad is all plugging things. But it, it's so much more soulless because the rate for everything is so much cheaper because that's all they do. So mm -hmm. they will fully sell out for like eighty dollars in a meal, and it's like, damn, you should just like get a degree instead. Like this is, mm -hmm. this is. Is it like that Drew guy, the um, the one that d does his like day in the life kind no, of thing? No, he doesn't. So he's gonna sell so. I don't know, man. I just saw a video and he like every scene that he had, he was using a product. We didn't start like that. Oh. Oh, like he's showing that this is a this is a place where someone could give you an ad. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of like getting a step more advanced. People might not know this, so we might have to drop that book just to kind of. Yeah, the life of an influencer. Twitch Types streamer. Twitch streamer. Scariest. Smells bad. Special effects. 
regions, origins, height comparisons. VTuber, that one's scary because that's an up-and-coming creature. Dude, I want to make this book. I know. There's so much out there, guys. Don't worry. Well, this we'll is the it. number one source to get educated on freaking awesome topics that everyone needs to know about. And we actually slip it into the scholastic of it all. Like, is there... A, a Dude, that's the money maker. If you can make it into the Scholastic Book Fair, it's like freaking New York Times bestseller. Like Forty like, bucks, yeah. No, I was actually when I was browsing for books in Indigo or Barnes and Noble or whatever you want to call it, I I was looking at all the books and of course every single one is <laughs> New York Times bestseller, whatever number one. <laughs> I was like, if I ever dropped a book, I would say I would literally write like Lily. number ninety nine, in, wor- in the sellers. Yeah, I would just say like worst bestseller. Just to We're get selling. the conversation started. Just to get people to be like, oh, wait, why would anyone put this? Well, you won't have to lie about it. It'll probably be true. Worst seller. Dude, Elon Musk's book. That's the book you keep <laughs> saying. You, we need to read it so we come back with the full synopsis. I know, but I know. Give them your, your Just first that impressions. first, you know when you open the book and there's like the little flap? Well, what is it? Like, what's the book? Uh, it's, a, it's the biography, I think, is right? He bio? paid someone to write a biography on him. Yep. Auto, autobiography. Auto is yourself, right? It's him. It's all about him. Oh, he no. didn't write it himself. Yeah, Otto, okay, he wrote so it someone wrote it for him. I'm gonna pee real quick. You can go keep for talking. it. But basically, it was, <laughs> it was the flap kind of giving a little, uh, a little synopsis of what the book is about, and it just started off with Elon Musk was bullied brutally and heavily as a child. He was kicked in the face repeatedly by these bullies, pushed to the ground until his face was nothing but just a ball of flesh. But that doesn't even compare to the pain that Elon Musk was put through by his crazy father. Join us on this journey of Elon Musk's beautiful life and how he met Grimes and made a freaking baby with Grimes and started Tesla. It was actually, it actually did sound intriguing. um, But then you realize like he really paid someone to write this and that this is something that he's like proud of and he thinks that other people are going to be impressed like boy no one's impressed because why is this sitting in the freaking um in the freaking clearance section 30 percent off he's trying to get these things sold out as fast as he possibly can um now is that am i saying that i won't get a Neuralink? no i'm not saying that am i saying that i won't get a tiny tesla home no i'm not saying that because i i don't know the way the economy is going, I might get a, t- a Tesla home. Um, are you going to get one? I don't know. Like, is that a thing? Yeah, I was just saying, like, I mean, he's, he was trying to sell this thing out and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to dog on him because I know he's coming up with some crazy stuff right now. Neuralink and all that. No, dog on him. I think that's not the way to go. Really? Well, it's actually well, guys, guys, honestly, keep this in mind. We're speaking from 2024 when it gets to 2034, 2044. Oh, we're implanted by then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is we can't... Speak bad on it because he might hack our Neuralink. Yeah, make us do funny, s- silly things. Start tickling each other or something. <laughs> like it, he adds one little glitch in it or something every so often, so that you like. Oh wow! What's hell? He could do that, but it's not even a consistent he, timing. Yeah, it's, it's just, just inconvenience. Random. Every once in a while, he's like, and the code would be like this. It'd be like, if it would be like random at random time. Um, start glitch, and it would be like. What would be the glitches? It'd be like an, a random emote, Fortnite emote. Probably a dab or something. Anyway. If important dinner party jumped on table and Fortnite emote won. Emotophobia. <laughs> what was the dinner table on? Defa, 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 phobia. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Dafoe, Dafobia. Um, okay. Here's time for the advice. Just some things about the advice. Let's pull back on the relationship advice. It seems to be very consistent, Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, I agree. I I come from a place of no, uh, no experience. Yeah, ask some stuff that you think Hamza would actually know. Yeah, stuff about. Well, then I'll get offended. Um, here we go. I need advice. Um, hi Hamza and Martin. Love the pod and the slushies. I have quite the develop dilemma. I have two friends who have made. I've been close with for years and I love them very dearly. However, I've noticed that they recently started making so many out of pocket racist slash homophobic quote unquote jokes. It even got to the point where they started using the N word very (laughs) regularly. Whoa. Whoa. And homophobia. And they are both white. Mm. Wow. What's going on here? 
they only really act like this when they both when both of them are together and when i'm alone with one of them they don't act like this because they know i won't encourage it one of them has moved to california so i only see her twice a year imagine seeing someone like twice a year and that chance you get you said the n-word <laughs> <laughs> well it's time make it count make it count biannually inward and i see the other goes to c gep S E G E. Oh, Sejap. It's a it's a French Quebec University thing. Two hours away. We also obviously rarely see each other. Obviously, what they're doing isn't okay. And despite of me showing their disappointment, they always ignore it and keep going. I don't like this message so far. I just want to know if I should ignore it and just hope they mature out of it by next time I see them next summer, or if I should just give up on trying with these friendships. As I mentioned. I was really close with these two girls my entirety of high school, and we have so many great memories together that are so difficult to let go of. That's all. Also, visit Montreal. Oh, and yeah, this is a French. Okay. Jeez, the French. That's no, what it, it is. It is, it is, it's man. It's hard for people to imagine until you know that Montreal people are different. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to gl- group and classify, um, but it, they, they tend to be a bit more, um, yeah, racist, I would say. Um, tries not to classify and no, it is it's true, and I think only people who like live in Quebec and stuff like that can attest to it because they'll agree to. Um, it's just they're a bit more crude. Yeah. Um, just how it is. Um, not I mean, that it's imagine okay. French people and then imagine wanna be Frenchies. Like yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, I can't say French. Sorry, I'm not trying to say French. Well, hey, look, they are. Paris ain't the nicest place in the world either. When it no, comes that's what to I'm like, saying, yeah. like imagine that how annoying they are, and then yeah. like wannabes of that. So, um, yes, I would give the that, smell. but uh, I'm glad that this person Stinkable, is a, yeah. is kind of going against the grain there, obviously. Not enough, in my opinion. Just drop yeah, them. Yeah, just really. drop them. That's that's where you're kind of almost like Honestly, co-signing it. Don't co-sign it. If I have a friend I'm seeing biannually, I don't care N-word or not. I'm just... Are you really that close to them? I'm really just like, eh. I wouldn't even consider you a friend. I'd consider you a, a passing strain, a passing... You know, like, isn't it crazy back then, like... George Washington's house, he mm-hmm. had like six guest rooms just for people like passing by and who needed a place to stay, like randoms. What a nice guy. But he was like common back then. People just like, oh, hello, fellow traveler. Come in. Let me make you some bread. That's how I would see them. Like, I would, I would I'm not the bre- I'm making bread for a freaking dude that says the N-word all the time. Um, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you should break bread. Listen, honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break bread. What would no? What would Jesus do? Well, he would forgive them. So, <laughs> is that not what it is? To break bread with them, forgive them. Just drop them, man. You're exhausting me with this question. Really, come on. You just yeah, me there's off. no need for that. There's probably better people out there. Hey, y'all. I want to ask you guys for advice on how to be more likable. I'm super awkward when interacting with people, and usually can only do it with liquid courage, mm-hmm. or whenever I have a friend or my boyfriend there as a buffer. Do you have any advice on how to be that person that people want to be around? And any advice on how to beat the shy allegations when I'm clearly trying so hard not to be shy? Well, that's it. You're clearly trying so hard. It's 4 a.m. in California, by the way. Perhaps I deserve my cry for help to be answered. I think I read that wrong. Liquid courage, not good. (laughs) Straight up. It gives you more... um, anxiety or anxiety after you've uh mm. recovered Yours. it's um and then then you just kind of get pushed back to where you started maybe even were in a worse position because you're almost more anxious and then you need more of it and it just becomes a problem if you rely on it so don't do that and you know what i think this question is like impossible without some radical mental change there has to be a radical change to this because the reason why is because everyone's socially inept now so you can't like slowly become unsocially inept you gotta like walk into a room a bunch of just freaking tiktok freaking scrollers and just be like oh mm. you gotta scare people i don't know you have to honestly not care to your soul yeah you have to you oh, have to soul. be so confident in yourself first like you have to love what you are what you're bringing to the table what you bring to the table because then you won't care like people radiate the aura of what they do you know what i mean like you can cardi yeah like cardi when cardi walks in the room he really thinks he's the shit 
So that's is. why he walks it's in and then you're is. like, oh my God, it's Cardi. So it's like the same thing. You got to like, you got to really believe in yourself and then you can walk into a room and be happy. Because awesome. people will sniff it out. They, yeah. they know. So don't tr- try. Super yeah, don't hard. fake it. Definitely don't fake it. Because then um, it's like, hey, you. Yeah. What did I see? Um, <laughs> What did I see on TikTok? It's like related to this. Oh, man. I just lost it. I just lost it. The confidence, the confidence. Boosting confidence in a social situation. Dang it. It escaped me. Oh, man. Yeah. Just like that. I'm impressed by your 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 recognition of when it has escaped. No, I just know. I, I never know. I'll just keep going. I'll keep going. And then and then I'll just maybe it'll come back to me. So you just up to the gods. Yeah, we'll wait. OK, good luck with that. And wish you the best. Um, here we go. <clears throat> oh, I know what it was. Jesus Christ. It was, <laughs> it was a TikTok about how um someone was like a bartender and they just got to watch people all night um talk and like see how drunk people act. But then when they're not drunk, like how um like let's say you can share a whole night with someone or just spend a whole night with someone at the bar having the great greatest time of your life. But then you'll meet up with them next day, let's say not sober, and you're just like, whoa, we actually don't have anything in common. in common and we don't care about each other. Oh. And we're not actually friends at all, even close to friends. Well, that's why you write off that experience yeah. as like it wasn't a real. Yeah. And but it just shows how like fake it is anyways when you're when you're like drinking and stuff. So, um, yeah, that fake confidence that you get isn't even like doing anything for you. Mm. You're not actually making meaningful um, connections and stuff. Hey, guys. I was wondering if I could get some advice. My friend, let's call her Katie, (laughs) has a super nice beach house that our entire friend group of six were going to go on a trip to. Her mom made a group chat with our parents just to make sure it's fine and plan it further until Katie's mom suddenly said it was canceled. Little did I know it was not canceled. And instead, she was inviting everyone but me and the other girl and this other girl and kept it a secret that they were actually going to go. I confronted her about it and she did not understand why I was upset. And additionally, my friends my friends that did go were on the side of the saying I over yet yeah, <laughs> did. What should I do? Should I get better friends? Is it me? This is like the most evil thing I ever heard, I think. Or you are a biatch. It's like it's 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 one or the other and it sucks because I know I know the situation though. I've I haven't been there, but I've like heard of this happening to a lot of people, like where they just kind of get booted out um, silently. Of the friend group or of an Yeah, event? and it's like a family organized thing. So honestly, like it could really be the parents and stuff too. Like some people have really weird families and like that's just like they don't know how to communicate properly to like other parents and stuff. So yeah, I mm-hmm. think honestly, I think like if there's if because we don't know the the whole history of her and her friends. If you have had ever a weird situation just like this, like previously with other weird things, I think you should add that to the mix and just be like, yeah, this is a bad friend and just throw them away. What if she's... If this is just a one-off, then I don't know. But if I, something like this doesn't just happen, like you you must have... Unfortunately. Yeah. It is a symptom of something larger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And maybe you are annoying as hell. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. And I don't want to play I don't want to play on your side either because I don't know who you are. You could be the worst person in the you entire could. world. We don't know. And that's not what you were expecting to say. We were expecting us to pat you on the back and say, Oh, oh yeah. The world is oh. nice. Oh, sunshine oh, yeah. and rainbows. Sunshine and yeah, rainbows. Yeah, welcome to the out of character podcast where you actually might hear things that are might out that might be out of character for you. And then pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Ah <laughs> we just ate. <laughs> You're supposed to say we just ate first, but that's okay. It was a good try. Um, anyway, hope you guys like this episode. Um, I'm trying to see what else is going on here with you guys. Some of you guys are just getting the most silliest predicaments ever in um, the DMs here. But just um, hang on. I'm going to just do one more. I'm going to cut that whole exit out. Dude, I just realized why they say... What dude, what's that fear of eating? Eating? The number eight? Yeah, do you remember? Octophobia. Dude, so many people have octophobia because you know when they say this, they say they ate, I fear. 
And you thought, you, and you said you weren't hip to the modern terminology of the of the freaking adolescence. You are hip. I know. You ate. I fear. It says so much. It's like a haiku. <laughs> I must have octophobia because you ate. I fear. Whoa! I'm. I'm. Look, come on. That deserves a round of applause. Seriously, I wish we had a freaking sound effect thing like Curtis Connor. <laughs> Clapping? Yeah. Though you're clapping? That was my chin. You went from <laughs> snare to clap. <laughs> if we had one, we would not have that button. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> All right. You keep saying it, and now I'm even more embarrassed. Embarrassed. Phobia. Hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully take care of yourselves and keep track of your phobias. Bye-bye.